Hello, hello. Today I'm going to be showing you the recipe that I use to get my dog to eat his supplements and these cute little molds. First up is the kelp and spirulina supplement. So what I do to get him to eat it, the key is mixing it with some sort of disgusting fish. Whether or not that is sardines, make sure it's in water. The key here is in water. You can also use something like oysters, oysters in water, of course. Girl, we got them clams in water, of course. Get all that stuff out of the way. You're going to want to make sure you have something like this, some sort of like puree -er thing. All right, open up them bad boys that you chose. I chose the oysters. Just a warning, they're extremely nasty, so have something close by to catch that nastiness. You are going to pour this into your mixing bowl. Prepare for spillage. I did not. It was gross. For some reason, I lost the footage of me actually adding the kelp and the spirulina into the, like, the mixture here, but I promise all I did was add kelp and spirulina in with the oysters and a little bit of water. So all you're gonna do is just like mash them, puree them together until you get like a thick consistency. <laughs> because I do this so often, I know the amount to add into here. Of course, if you want to figure out the amounts, just give it a Google. I'm sure you can find out the correct variations and ratios for your own dog in their particular size. You can basically play around with it. Like you can see here, I'm like getting it to how I like it. It's nasty and it's messy. Be prepared. Clean up your mess as you go. This is the fun part. Take your little mixture that you've come up with, smash them deep down into those molds repeat repeat smash smash and you're going to now spread it into the molds you want to make sure you push out as much air as possible so that they're nice and like even in them I guess and then scrape off the extra mush it in there a bit more do your thing try not to waste it because you'll waste a lot so swoop up the edges if you can pop that in the freezer for approximately 30 minutes and check on it from time to time. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up another extra one here. I don't want to waste anything. Waste all this good stuff. So here's the before. Here's the finished product. Ta-da! Nice and cold. So they're in these cute little paw pucks now, as you can see. So fancy, so cute. Just keep these right in the freezer, and when you need them, you can take them out and just put them right in the bowl. On to the next one. If you're from Nova Scotia, I know you have a bag of these bad boys lying in your freezer. Blueberries. Step one, spill your blueberries. Step two, pour the blueberries. Step three, retrieve the blueberries. Step four, get yourself some coconut oil. I'm sure if you wanted to throw in any other ingredients that you think would be beneficial to your dog's health, you can toss those in there as well. And then step five, mash them together. Through the power of movie magic, we're going to skip through all the struggles and just skip to the finished product. Ideally, you're looking for a nice liquidy consistency, just like this here. Ah, oh, movie magic, right? Huh. For the most appealing thing of this whole video, ah, that pour. Be very careful when you're moving these into the freezer because they will spill. And voila, you are gifted with this adorable little paw print in the cutest shade of pink. Put those in a bag as well, and pop those in the freezer for convenience. Of course, not, not putting any of that to waste. Here's the final product. Put it in your bowl. That's, that's pretty much it. The dogs like it.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, share, and subscribe.